One day, you decided you wanted more. Next stop, University Station. To study, to learn, to chase a passion, or to find one. And at one moment or another, it may have seemed impossible to go on. But you remembered that it only takes one. One cup of coffee. One question. One professor to open your mind. One class that would wake you up. One moment of creative inspiration. One project that would turn into a business venture. One launch. One discovery that would forever change the trajectory of our planet. One breakthrough that would change the lives of millions. And one year. A year that would forever change us all. You are the class of 2021. One graduating class amongst a growing community. Alumni who have come before you and are all around the world, ready to support you, to see what you do next and what we can achieve together. Whatsoever things are true. A promise made here at the University of Alberta over a hundred years ago. Today we join together from our own homes to celebrate this commitment to ourselves and to our community. We celebrate with all of our graduating students. Let these words guide you. May you continue to seek truth. May you continue to serve in our global home. May you continue to uphold the University of Alberta's values of integrity, freedom, and the equality and dignity of all persons. To create a community filled with promise for the future and goodwill toward all. I invite you to join in from your own homes as we celebrate the class of 2021 across this great country and around the world with the singing of O Canada. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in our love of common, cut on brass a port, porte in la croix ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits coquipolet glorious and free oh Canada we stand on
Welcome to the University of Alberta Spring 2021 Convocation. My name is Peggy Garrity and I have the privilege of serving as the Chancellor of the University and conferring all of your degrees today. I would like to acknowledge that the University of Alberta is located on Treaty 6 territory and the homelands of the Métis. In stating this, we must recognize our responsibility in working in relationship alongside First Nation and Métis people and their communities on the way forward and in good relations in uplifting the whole people for the next seven generations and the University for tomorrow. On behalf of the entire University community, I'm delighted to welcome you to this convocation. Convocation is a time-honored tradition of gathering together the degree holders of a university. But as we all know, gathering together is something we all miss as we've struggled through the impact of the pandemic. You are the first University of Alberta graduating class in more than a century to have spent the final year of your studies during a pandemic. And without the familiar connections with campus, with professors, with colleagues and friends, simple but significant things we all miss. With the unique challenges each of you has faced, there is even more reason to celebrate what you have achieved, to honour the achievements of the Class of 2021, and to wish you every success as you pursue your next hopes and dreams. Over the course of this ceremony, you'll hear from the President of our University, the Chair of our Board of Governors, and three distinguished alumni from our University. We're also very honoured to hear from Her Honour Honor Ms. Salma Lakani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta and one of this year's outstanding honorary degree recipients. We're delighted to welcome her to the University of Alberta family. Graduates, for all of you and indeed for all of you who are watching, the centrepiece of our ceremony will be the conferral of your degrees. Our deans will present you and our president will guide you through our pledge to pursue the encouragement of learning and the public good. It will then be my great honour to admit you to your degrees and to confer upon you all the rights, privileges and responsibilities that come with being a university graduate. That moment will bind you and the University of Alberta together for all time. 
when we do the conferral of degrees, I hope that you and all of your friends, family members and colleagues will shout out your name in celebration and cheer along with the rest of us. The significance of the conferral of your degrees will then be marked by a message from each of your faculty deans. I wish I could read out the names of each and every one of you so that I could recognize your accomplishments individually. Unfortunately, that process would take over 11 hours to complete, which I expect is beyond the endurance of all of us. You will find your name, as well as the names of all those graduating at the end of this virtual ceremony. You can also send messages of congratulations to individual graduates by visiting the Convocation webpage. To everyone joining us, I hope you enjoy the celebration. I'd like to start by inviting President Flanagan to address Convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Garrity. Class of 2021, congratulations. Universities are always proud of their graduates, and I'm incredibly proud of this year's class. When you began your studies at the University of Alberta, no one could have anticipated the turn that your university life would take in the last year. There have been many challenges. You've spent long hours in front of a screen rather than working side by side with classmates and friends. You've missed out on a lot. Clubs, athletics, performances, competitions, and international exchanges. On top of the usual demands, you've had to adapt more than adapt to new learning technologies. You've had to adapt your schedules, living arrangements, and plans for next year. But through it all, you have demonstrated remarkable resilience and creativity. You have helped each other and helped all of us at the University of Alberta succeed despite the challenges. You've also shown enormous compassion and care for, what, for others, making sacrifices for the well-being of your family and your friends, as well as the community at large. Many of you have also put yourselves on the front lines of the pandemic. Perhaps you did practicums or placements in hospitals, clinics, and schools, or were one of the many who continued to work part-time in essential services and businesses so that we could all have access to food and other necessities. Or as co-op students and interns, you helped companies and community organizations stay afloat in difficult times. I know too that many of you have needed to put your plans on hold. That's not easy to do, just at a point when you're ready to get started on what comes next. Thank you for putting the welfare of others ahead of yours. It is my heartfelt wish that your plans will soon take off. Graduation always marks a new beginning, and never more so than today. More and more people are vaccinated every day. Over the summer, we will start to see things open up. We will soon have the chance to renew vital human connections and set our sights on new adventures. And when we can, I urge you to experience life to the full. Enjoy food in restaurants, delve into the arts, travel, take advantage of what your city and what your community has to offer. And as you do, take with you some critical lessons that we've learned from this year. My first lesson, when we work together to solve problems, positive, life-saving, transformational change is possible. And second, skills, knowledge, and ideas matter. Imagine this year without research, without highly trained experts helping governments and individuals to make good decisions, without innovation leading to the quickest discovery and production of vaccines in human history. Your education matters. Take the skills you've learned and your increased capacity to solve problems and imagine alternative solutions and make this world a better place. My third lesson, everything rests on compassion and concern for others. Cherish and nurture your relationships and communities and find in them strength and connection. Once this public health emergency ends, we will continue to face serious and significant local and global challenges. We will need the strengths of our communities to solve them. We will need to renew our economy and bring down high levels of unemployment. The global community must address climate change and deep polarization. 
Each of us must play our part in ending systemic racism and discrimination. U of A graduates have faced difficult situations in the past. I think of the period following the Spanish flu in World War I, in which this community suffered great losses. I also think of my parents who came to the University of Alberta in the years following World War II, my father as a veteran. They both became teachers and were part of a generation that built a world-class K-12 public school system throughout Alberta. U of A's alumni community now numbers more than 300,000. Together, this community provides tremendous leadership in every sector and every corner of society. Today, you become part of that community, and we depend on you to add your talents, skills, and voices to lead the renewal so urgently needed today. This is indeed a time of challenge, but is also an exciting time for Alberta and for Canada. We are in the midst of major transitions. Imagine our province and our country 10 or 20 years from now, and consider the opportunities that lie ahead to start new industries and businesses, renew public services, expand the creative arts, explore new areas of research, and lead social, cultural, and economic change. Each of you has a role in that future, an even more diverse Alberta, an ever-changing Alberta, a forward-looking and optimistic Alberta, and a diverse social and economic fabric. Your graduation marks a new beginning for all of us. Be bold and be brave. Seize your chance. Now, more than ever, our society needs you to take the lead. Congratulations and best wishes. Knowledge shall not be the concern of scholars alone. The uplifting of the whole people shall be its final goal. They inspire us all with their brilliance, creative force, and fervent desire to make the world a better place. Accepted in the name of our poor people. Dream your dreams. It is possible to have a new kind of world. Those who receive an honorary degree from the University of Alberta set the highest standards of dedication and excellence for students and for society at large. It is a good day to be you. Remember who you are. Remember where you come from. And while their backgrounds and fields of endeavor vary widely, all are exceptional. Maybe it's best if I just speak from the heart. face today a clash of ignorances. You are who make the history. You are who create the future. U of A honorary degree recipients embody the university's vision to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery, and citizenship in a creative community. Your generation will be called upon to balance what is now moving quickly to a tipping point. I think we are now in the threshold of a new beginning. It is a spirit that is building one of the world's great universities for the public good. It is your attitude that will sustain you. It is not what happens to you, it is what you do with it. 
go out and not simply change the world, go out and save the world. That is what I would seek you to do. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Alberta, it is my great privilege to introduce the Honourable Salma Lakani for the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws, our institution's highest honour. Her honour was installed as Alberta's 19th Lieutenant Governor on August 26, 2020, the first person of Muslim faith and the first person of South Asian descent to be appointed to this position. Her long-standing service as a community leader and volunteer has been guided by her deep commitment to the values of pluralism and inclusion. She is dedicated to championing those who face barriers in life. After the government of her home country in Uganda expanded, expelled all people of Asian descent in 1972, it was her family's focus on education and her post-secondary studies in Britain that gave her a future. Salma graduated with an honours degree in clinical biochemistry from the University of Leeds. In 1977, Salma and her husband came to Edmonton to begin a new life in Canada. After arriving in Edmonton, Salma supported her husband's medical practice while also operating a business focused on early childhood education and applying her affinity for teaching. Her honour became one of the first mentors in Northwest College's Youth in Transition program providing guidance for students learning English as a second language. She also shared her skills, energy and passion for service with the Lois Hole Hospital for Women, Kids Cottage, Sorrentino's Compassion House, the Alberta Cancer Board, the Zebra Found Foundation, the Aga Khan Foundation of Canada and the John Humphrey Centre for Peace and Human Rights. Salma is a longtime Edmontonian who has made a remarkable difference in our community. She has received the Alberta Centennial and Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal in recognition of her service to the community and civil society, and was inducted as a member and chancellor of the, Order of El the Alberta Order of Excellence upon her appointment as Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. Today, we honor her compassion, her empathy, and her ability to connect with others. We recognize her leadership in helping immigrant women gain more access to further their education. And we celebrate her tireless commitment to serving the community and her belief that success in life is a result of collective efforts. Eminent Chancellor, with great pride and respect, I present the Honorable Salma Lakani. Eminent Chancellor, President Flanagan, Board of Governors Chair Chisholm and members, faculty, distinguished guests, proud family members, and especially you, the graduating class of 2021. I want to express my deepest gratitude to the University of Alberta for bestowing on me this recognition and my heartfelt thanks to my nominator and those who offered their support. Thank you. Few of us can fully appreciate the significant challenges you, the class of 2021, have experienced over the past year. Our current context has contributed to a heightened awareness about the ever-changing world we live in as we face the headwinds of the future. To that end, I thought I might take a few minutes today to tell you a story. Over four decades ago, I graduated from the University of Manchester in England. But although I had my degree in hand, the future I had long since imagined for myself of returning to my home country of Uganda was shattered. Partway through my university education, my entire family, along with thousands of others of South Asian descent, were expelled from Uganda. With no place to call home, I was forced to imagine a different life, 
a life that eventually brought me and my husband here to Canada, a place that as children we only knew as a faraway country on the map. But in the midst of the countless unknowns we faced, I do know that the education we received at the Aga Khan schools in Uganda and my university education in England was an absolute lifeline in facilitating everything that has happened since. Today, you are all being awarded degrees of higher learning by one of North America's finest education institutions, and you can be sure that whatever you choose to do as your lives unfold, the formal education and qualifications you have worked so hard for are precious gifts that will always remain with you. As someone whose own life journey has contained many unexpected twists and turns, I want to share with you some of the lessons I have learned along the way. One, the exercise of education and thoughtful engagement does not end with your degree. I left my alma mater with a degree in clinical biochemistry, but it was the fundamental practice of viewing learning as a lifelong pursuit that allowed me to explore alternate avenues. Simply put, your education is not and cannot be solely reflected in the degrees you have earned, but in the intellectual curiosity, thoughtfulness, and determined work ethic you have fostered. Wherever life takes you, you will forever be supported by the sum of the skills that your university education has given you and by your willingness to keep learning, engaging, and growing. Two, as you journey down your paths, I also want you to remember that there is not only strength, but great resilience in authenticity. Too often, there is a tendency to shroud or minimize aspects of ourselves to better fit within a so-called mainstream. But the fact is that we are all composites of so many different identities be it race, religion, culture, gender identity, or even the academic paths you have chosen. These identities give each of us a wealth of perspectives that allow us to make unique and meaningful contributions to the world around us. I happen to be a Muslim by faith, a South Asian by descent, and an African by birth, born and raised in Uganda, which was our family home for three generations. Each of these aspects of my identity is unique to me and is added to the richness of my life. So rather than editing yourselves in favor of who you think you are expected to be, Lean into all of the different aspects of who you are, and the world will be made better for having you live as your authentic selves. Three, another vital lesson that I have carried with me from a young age is the African concept of Ubuntu, which simply translated means, I am because we are. It speaks to the ties that bind us as a community and reminds us that our lives and livelihoods are inextricably linked and never has that been more evident than right now. Whatever you pursue in your lives, I hope you will always keep in mind that we are all part of a global family 
forever bound through our trials and our triumphs, our setbacks and our successes. I hope that in charting your next steps, you will be thinking not only of how to meet your own needs, but also how to best serve and uphold those around you with the skills you have acquired. Today, I stand before you as a proud Canadian and as Alberta's 19th Lieutenant Governor, addressing graduates of this world-class university that offered us the opportunity to come to Alberta in 1977 in my husband's pursuit of postgraduate training in medicine. I speak for my family when I say that this institution has always held a special place in our hearts. As someone who came to this country as a stateless ex-Ugandan to be receiving the U of A's highest honor alongside all the amazing past recipients and at this convocation, three extraordinary fellow Canadians, Ruth Collins Nakai, Cheryl Whiskey Jack, and Reza Nazari is truly humbling. It is an honor that I never imagined would be part of my own life story. As you strike out to carve bright futures for yourselves, I am reminded of myself, a young graduate in Manchester over four decades ago who could never have imagined how her life would unfold through those uncertain times. To the class of 2021, some final thoughts. Treasure the gift of your education. It is priceless. Live authentically. Never forget that we are all part of a global family. Always remember the kindnesses shown to you and give of yourselves with an open heart. In so doing, you will find that your own horizons open in new and unexpected ways full of hope and possibility. Congratulations to each one of our graduates and your very proud families. May your futures always be blessed with much success. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry. The Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research. Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Faculty of Nursing. Faculty of Kinesiology, Sport and Recreation. The Faculty of Rehabilitation Medicine. School of Public Health. We present to you these scholars and ask that they be pledged and admitted to the degrees to which they are entitled. Do you promise faithfully to observe and loyally to maintain the statutes, customs, privileges, and liberties of this, your university? Do you solemnly promise to conduct yourself in all things loyally and faithfully to the honor of this, your university, the encouragement of learning and the good of your country. Please confirm the pledge with me. These things I pledge myself to do. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of this university, I admit you to the degrees to which you are entitled and invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining to such degrees. I charge you to use them for the uplifting of the whole people, to inspire the human spirit, to serve your community for the public good, and to pursue more steadfastly whatsoever things are true.
What is Dean Mummery doing here? Carrie, what are you doing here? Hi, Dawson. Well, I'm waiting for the graduates to come for their photo. For, for what? Well, for their graduate photo with the bear. But it's virtual this year, Carrie. That was last year. Well, it is again this year. But we have to tell them, graduates, you've done a terrific job. Congratulations. Go forward into the world and do a great job. And I know you will because you're one of our grads. We've got to get that message to them. And they've got to get a picture with the bear. The road to a degree is full of highs and lows. And this group, more than any other, has faced and overcome challenges none of us could have anticipated. Today, I'm here to honor you for your hard work and adaptability on what's taken you to get here today. I'm confident that you will have great success and rewards in the future in serving your patients and your communities. And I want you to always remember that the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry will always be your home. So congratulations, class of 2021, and good luck in the future. To the Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences class of 2021, congratulations on completing your Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences schooling. You showed adaptability, perseverance throughout your education, even when you were interrupted by a pandemic. I hope that the lessons you learned during your degrees in and outside of the classroom will help you grow as pharmacists, researchers, and people. Thank you for your dedication to your education, your peers, and your patients. I know that each one of you will go on to do great things. Congratulations. It is my honor to celebrate and recognize you, our public health graduates. I'm so proud of all you have accomplished, the progress you have made, the success you have earned through a global pandemic, the remarkable skills, competencies, and capacities you have gained through this journey will serve you and our communities well. Step out, own your journey, and lead the way in public health to find solutions that will transform the world and create a equitable and healthier future for all. Nurses have stepped into the breach so many times over centuries to guard the health and wellness and lives of those they serve. Nurses help individuals, families, communities and populations to regain their health. In the past 15 months, nurses have stepped up again all around the world to care for those with COVID and those without. Some have labelled nurses as heroes and while most nurses are heroic, they are also highly skilled and educated professionals prepared to care for others in a great diversity of situations. Nurses are leaders in the healthcare system who work with others to achieve their preferred health future. Be proud, oh so proud of the profession you are educated, prepared for and committed to. You are a member of the most trusted profession in the world. Live up to it. Uphold your patient's health, wellness and dignity. There is leadership, grace and greatness in serving others. No greater reward on earth. Congratulations to all of you. To our graduating students, this has been a year of many challenges, but this is a year that is also a testament to your resilience. Not only did you manage a full course load and navigate challenging clinical experiences, you did it through virtual means. You developed skills, and hopefully lifelong friends through Zoom. You demonstrated professionalism and clinical care from behind a mask. In the face of adversity, you've exceeded our expectations. I hope you'll take the extraordinary experiences of the last two years and build yourself a successful and rewarding career. And I hope that you'll be proud to call yourself an alumnus of the University of Alberta and the Faculty of Rehabilitation Medicine. It is my honor to congratulate you on this special day. I look forward to seeing the incredible things you are going to do in the years to come. Hello everyone. I'm pleased to congratulate the recipients of graduate degrees and certificates at this year's Spring 2021 Convocation. I hope you take some time to celebrate today. You certainly deserve it because completing a graduate degree is no small achievement. You've devoted countless hours to research, to writing, 
and to creative activity. There may have been times when you wondered if you'd get here, but you have, and we couldn't be more proud of you for having done so. Congratulations and best wishes for your future. We can't wait to see how you're going to change the world. Heartiest congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations. 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 Hello, my name is Tyler Hansen, and I am the president of the Alumni Association. It is now my privilege to introduce our class of 2021 alumni speaker for the faculties of Kinesiology, Sport and Recreation, Medicine and Dentistry, Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, School of Public Health, and Rehabilitation Medicine. Dr. Stephanie Liu is a University of Alberta alumna who received a Doctor of Medicine degree in 2013. She is also a graduate of Columbia University and the University of Calgary. Stephanie practices community family medicine and is an assistant clinical professor at the University of Alberta. She is founder of parenting blog, Life of Dr. Mom, where she discusses her experiences as a first-time mom and provides evidence-based child and maternal health information. Stephanie's goal is to provide families with credible medical information so that they can make informed decisions about their health and the health of their loved ones. She is also the author of three popular children's books, Maddie Monkey Learns the Body, George Shark and COVID-19, and Maddie's Mom Goes to Work. I'm very pleased to be here to join you in celebrating this wonderful occasion. You are a special cohort of graduating students. I don't think there'll be a class like yours again. Your time at the University of Alberta should have been spent seeing friends, collaborating with classmates, immersing yourself in an on-campus experience. One of the things I enjoyed the most about my medical training, it was the people I met along the way. Going to bars, studying in cafes, class trips, and texting each other jokes while in class was what made medical training so special. Now as a family physician, the friends and classmates I went to cafes with are now the same people I consult for managing surgeries, the same people I ask to help babysit my kids when I'm running late at work, and the same people who are my shoulder to cry on when I'm overwhelmed, stressed, or just need someone to talk to. You miss the solid year of going out with friends and networking, and that really, really sucks. But that's why it's even more important now to continue to reach out and check in with our friends and see how they are doing. University isn't just about learning, it's about making connections and feeling connected. You never know if it's that person sitting next to you is gonna be the person you're gonna create a business with. Call to cover your shift, or be that person you can depend on when you need a hand or a chat. Or maybe you'll end up like me and marry the person sitting next to you in your medical school class. Stay connected with your classmates. Here's a quote I hope you'll remember. You took the sourest lemons that life had to offer and turned it into something resembling lemonade. That's from my favorite TV show, This Is Us. But that quote, this is you, this year you adapted, you became resilient, and you stand before me today stronger for it, about to start the next chapter of your lives. Pursue your dreams, interests, and passions. I've always been interested in writing and enjoyed taking photos of my family. I want an outlet for those interests, so I started a blog utilizing my expertise as a family doctor and my personal experiences with my own family. The idea resonated with me, and it felt like the right thing to do, but I was scared. I was scared about what people would think of me. Would they mock me? Would my patients and my colleagues think less of me? But then I realized what's important to me is what I think of me. I don't wanna live a life of regrets. So I started one of the passions of my life, my mom blog, Life of Dr. Mom. This evidence-based parenting blog has allowed me to stay connected with the community, provided me with a creative outlet, and inspires me to be the best version of myself. Pursue your interests. The only person you need to impress is yourself. The next lesson I learned, which to me was what I struggled the most with, is to always love yourself. Not in a narcissistic way, but in a I know I am good and I will do great things way. Life is beautiful and exciting, but it also has moments that are hard. You'll get shut down and sometimes people tell you that your ideas suck and that you will not accomplish what you want. 
It is at these moments that you need to love yourself more than ever. Some of you may already envision your career and your goals for the next 10 years. That's awesome. In the rapper T.I.'s words, go get it. But some of you may be sitting here excited, but nervous as you've chosen a career path that may not be everything you expected. Be proactive. Get out there and try something. If that means talking to mentors, volunteering your time, or even branching out and starting a new project, know that the world is there for you to explore. And remember that along the way, always work hard, be humble, and be nice. You define what success means to you. For me, I measure success by my relationships with my friends and my family. And I find success through truly caring for my patients and my community. I encourage you to all go forth and find your own version of success. Congrats, class of 2021. Graduates of the class of 2021, I'm very pleased to participate today on behalf of the Board of Governors to bring the Board's greetings and heartiest congratulations to you. Today we celebrate you and your very significant achievements. The fact that we are doing this virtually today does not mean that your families, and by this I include mine this year, along with the entire university community are not extremely proud of you the graduating class of 2021. Indeed, the fact that you've made this great accomplishment during such challenging times speaks very well of your personal grit and strength. It's also a day to celebrate the university, which by virtue of this marvelous milestone has successfully provided you with the academic resources to support your engagement with issues and opportunities of 2021 and beyond. Collectively and cooperatively, you will be the generation that moves society forward in the arts, in the economy, in knowledge, discovery, and research. You've been changed, transformed even, over your years at the University of Alberta. You will address society's issues, influence others, and help people with the experience you've gained at the U of A. You're now the kind of citizen who will apply critical thought, share your knowledge, foster common understanding, and employ the skills you've gained here to better society in a competent, thoughtful, ethical, and engaged way today and from now on. Be proud. Savor your success. Enjoy today, and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Our very heartful congratulations to you, your families, friends, and supporters. While we do wish it had been possible to celebrate this joyful occasion in person, I'm pleased to be able to share a few messages of congratulations to you from your fellow students. Hello, class of 2021. Class of 2021. Class of 2021. Class of 2021, oh my God, we did it. Big congratulations to you all. Your hard work is finally paying off. You should be proud of all the hard work you put in these past few years. I wish you all the best with the next steps in your journey as researchers, clinicians, and community leaders. We are all privileged to have this education at the, one of the finest universities in the world and safely graduate and celebrate during this pandemic. You made it. I'd like to personally congratulate every single one of you for completing the degree and moving on to the next chapter of your lives. There's just so much I am grateful for, but definitely the vast volunteer opportunities on campus because I get to do what I'm passionate about and meet some of the most amazing people. Also, a shout out to my classmates, instructors, librarians, and those who make the morning coffee because I couldn't have done it without you. I'm most grateful for the people I met on campus that continue to enrich my life. I am most grateful for the amazing team of profs we had for all of our courses. They just really cared about us as people and really pushed us to be the best we could be. I'm so thankful for the relationships I was able to form here at the U of A. Uh, PhD is no small feat and it was with the help of my friends and um, mentors that I was able to get through my PhD. So I'm so thankful for the community that I was able to build here. Throughout my time at the U of A, I've been the most grateful for the support of professors and faculty members and all the peers and classmates that have challenged me to grow. I'm really looking forward to applying all the knowledge I gained from my degree to my nursing practice. I'm also excited to continue learning and gaining new skills as I begin my career. 
I'm hoping to utilize the rich experience I've gained from the University of Alberta to transform the healthcare system, both at the research and policy levels. Being an ambassador of my alma mater is something I wear so proudly on my sleeve. Through my degree in nursing, I hope to help vulnerable populations through health promotion, research advocacy, and to really just spread more kindness and positivity out into the world. In the future, I hope to continue learning as well as stay up to date with emerging research so I can give my patients the best possible care. I will continue pursuing my passion in research and also becoming a person who can contribute to a more equitable and inclusive society. Now that I'm done my degree, I really hope that I can get into a physiotherapy program. Somehow, somewhere, it might take a couple years, who knows? But eventually, I hope it will happen. I'm so excited to go out into the world, continue to challenge our practice, and be community-oriented in my role as a future occupational therapist. We really deserve to celebrate in some way, so congratulations to you. Go Bears and Pandas! In closing, I would like to offer a few words of thanks. To the Honorable Samala Khani, thank you for sharing your story, your wisdom with our university family. You are an inspiring example of leadership, service, and accomplishment. I'd also like to congratulate Drs. Cheryl Whiskey Jack, Reza Nasseri, and Ruth Collins Nikai, who also received honorary degrees in May and shared their inspiring messages with us this past week. To Nisha Patel, Adrian Cho, and Stephanie Liu, our alumni speakers for each of the ceremonies, thank you for sharing your stories and your wisdom with our university family. On a personal note, this ceremony marks my second convocation in my role as chancellor, both of which have been virtual. To all of our students, faculty, staff, administrators, and alumni, and to the members of our University Senate, thank you for affording me the privilege of serving this university. To the staff of the Office of the Registrar, thank you for the organization of today's convocation. Finally, to each of our graduates, congratulations for all you have achieved leading up to the conferral of your degree. Your parchment certifying the conferral of your degree today is being prepared for mailing as we hold this ceremony. Please watch for it in the mail in the next few weeks. The past year has been incredibly challenging for so many, and I want to acknowledge your determination and perseverance that helped you get to this day. While it may be cliche to say, we're all in this together, this past year has taught us how much that simple message rings true. Your convocation today symbolizes what we can achieve together, how we can uplift the whole people when we unleash the creativity, energy, ideas, and compassion of the students who are graduating today and will lead the way for tomorrow. I hope you feel incredibly proud of what you have accomplished in your years at our university. You have spent hours, months and years listening and learning, digging into complex issues and topics, thinking critically about some of the most pressing issues of our time, sharing time with friends and colleagues, and preparing for wherever your journey will take you. In turn, we are incredibly proud of you, our newest graduates. You bring us hope for the future. You inspire us with your energy, your enthusiasm, and ideas. Whatever path you choose, I encourage you, above all else, to understand you can make a positive difference in our world. And I can assure you that the University of Alberta will be here, cheering you on from the sidelines as each of you pursues your next hopes and dreams. Our closing song, Je te retrouve, was written, conducted, and performed by Corral Saint-Jean. I hope it will evoke warm memories for each of you of your time here at the U of A. Thank you for joining us today.